No sound there, Rick. No sound there, Rick. Sorry, you said no sound. The Cash Foundation is extending an invitation to medical doctors of any practice and speciality to apply to the Foundation's private weekly medical teaching workshop. This includes medical doctors, dentists, and veterinarians. Scientists of the Keshe Foundation developed different types of plasma therapies and cures that utilize advanced non-invasive plasma technology. The weekly private medical teaching workshop educates doctors to the plasma science behind the therapies along with the functionality and operation of revolutionary plasma medical devices. The goal of the private teachings is to add plasma health knowledge to the profound knowledge of medical doctors. The weekly class is broadcast live over the internet through a secure private channel every Wednesday from 2 to 5 p.m. Central European Time. Presently, the class is only offered in English. However, you are free to bring a translator to the class. If you can't participate in the live broadcast, you can watch them later at your convenience through a private internet portal. Every patient's case that is discussed in the workshop will be kept anonymous and private. This includes catalogued findings and data gained from the analysis of the patient's health issues. Any medical doctor in the world who wants to participate can do so by sending an email to doctors at spaceshipinstitute.org. In your email, please state your willingness to participate in the medical teaching workshop. If you're planning on bringing a translator to the workshop, please state this in your email as well. After we receive your email, we will contact you with the instructions on how to apply to the workshop. As a part of the application process, applicants who apply, including any translators brought into the workshop, will be required to sign the Keshe Foundation's World Peace Treaty, which can be found at the following web address. All applicants will be required to provide proof of their education and ability to practice medicine, and will also be required to pass an extensive security background check before they are granted access to the teaching workshop. Healthful Plasma Technology is here, now, the use of which is increasing exponentially on a day-to-day -day basis on every continent. We encourage you to come and learn about this revolutionary technology. Apply today. The Keshe Foundation is extending an invitation to experienced farmers, agricultural specialists, and researchers to apply to the Foundation's private weekly agriculture teaching workshops. If you fall into one of these categories and are interested in plasma technology integration into agriculture, you're invited to apply. Scientists and agricultural practitioners of the Keshe Foundation continually develop and apply new methods of food and fiber production, soil fertility management, plant and livestock health management, and increased farm productivity using the most advanced plasma technology that is taught at the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. In the teaching workshop, you'll learn the science of plasma technology and its applications in the field of agriculture for enhanced and equitable global food production while minimizing costs and external inputs. Practicing farmers and Keshe Foundation scientists will demonstrate their application of plasma technology in agriculture and the ensuing results of such applications, thus deepening and enriching learning for all participants in the private teachings. Participants are encouraged to demonstrate their farming practices in the teaching workshop. The private teachings are broadcast in English live over the internet through a secure private channel every Wednesday at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central European Time. If necessary, you may bring a translator to the workshop. All applications are required to provide proof of their education and professional qualifications. 
must pass a security background check, and are required to sign the Keshe Foundation's World Peace Treaty, which can be found at the following web address. Translators that attend must also pass a security check and sign the World Peace Treaty. For details on how to join the private teachings in agriculture, send an email to agriculture at kfssi.org stating that you'd like to participate. Include in the email your education and agricultural experience and reasons for your interest in plasma technology. Applicants will be contacted with further instructions and details on the application process. Welcome everyone to the 152nd Knowledge Seekers Workshop of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Once again, we are here to listen to the teachings of Mr. Keshe and uh, see what he has to say about the latest news from this week and into the future, as well as other knowledge seekers that are um, may have various questions, comments, and things to offer in today's workshop. Okay, I think uh, without further ado, we're ready to begin. Um, let me do the screen share of the 152nd. There we go. And uh, Mr. Kesh, are you, are you there and ready to go? Yes, good morning, good day to you as usual. Whatever and whenever you listen to these knowledge seekers series of teaching. First of all, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we just passed, and we are in the time of celebrating, and a Happy New Year to those who believe in the path of Christ, which is uh, on Sunday. We hope the New Year brings new horizon for those who see life in a different way and different manner. Uh, today, we try to go back into the depth of the teaching and carry on with the same pattern. <clears throat> um, as usual, we try to make some, what is new from our point of view, not necessarily from the Keshe Foundation worldwide. <clears throat> In the past year, past 12 months, we have seen huge changes, we have seen leaps, by leaps and bounds and changes, achievements and progress. And in so many ways, we see next year to be the pinnacle of the developments for the Keshe Foundation. Uh, we have invested a lot of time and effort and finances in supporting a number of research, and we withdraw finances from other parts to be able to see this support through. And in the last days and weeks of the foundations this year, we see our investments and trust in what we do correct start paying off. Those who surround on the Foundation came in as volunteers and became part-timers and the full-timers and put all their life and time in the past year into the Foundation, seeing changes, movements which they were not expecting, but this had to be part of the, what I call today's annual report of what we done in last year. We have changed the course, and we carry on investing in that direction next two to three months, because it's needed to guarantee the future of the whole structure of the Keshe Foundation. Those who are close to us, have been with us, have seen it. We have moved in so many ways, structured the financing. They have tolerated, and they will tolerate next two or three months, till the final phase is achieved. My aim is to bring Keshe Foundation worldwide on the same banner and the same strength, and we have achieved a huge amount. World recognition, and in so many ways, understanding of the technology has been our objective, and we have achieved a lot. Establishment of the Keshe Foundation, two or three factories this year, establishment of the Keshe Foundation Ghana, especially now, we're moving into as part of the space technology in Ghana. You will see in the next few weeks, the new center, prestigious new center, which we have taken in the structure. We have been allocated the 20,000 square meter, the space hospital to be developed this year. We have received a confirmation in building the first space 
what we call launch pad in Ghana in the next 12 months. We have achieved a lot in Ghana and through Ghana we have achieved a lot of governments. We have reached too many governments, they see what is going on and we start seeing collaboration and cooperation. On the other hand, we invested heavily into Tokyo, into Japan. We invested a huge amount of finances in different directions in the Far East, because they were needed to be done, because they were done on the basis of the scientific foundation basis. Cash Foundation, we did a lot on testimonials, we did a lot on our research and shown developments in different aspects. Now, after some 15 years, 20 years of teaching and working, the scientific organizations are doing their independent due diligence on the, what we claim and what we've done and what we are doing. And this is what we've been looking for. <coughs> the results and support we received from Tokyo and the University is amazing. I thank the people in charge within the University who are supporting us and relentlessly are providing every facility possible to us to be able to find more and more on the research. As we told you, the first phase was completed a couple of weeks ago <coughs> in respect to toxicity, which was 100% correct with CO2. And the second phase, which is a cell test, cancer cell test tissue, completed more or less yesterday, but it'll be finalized by tomorrow. I have seen a part of the report which is to be published on the back of the second trial, which is the cancer test trial. The report will be submitted again to the health authorities and other committees which we are using for the next phase. And we are assured and we can announce that the cancer trials in Ghana will start relentlessly in the second week, third week of January. The data coming <coughs> from Japan confirms cancer cells using CO2 needs 24 hours to, over, to be overcome. The final test conclusion test yesterday and today in Tokyo confirms now they're testing a new cell immediately with a new method. <coughs> what this means is that According to what is stated in the report, which I've seen within the informal part of it is, the new method using gas material, direct injection to tumors, can lead to the total change of the tumor, to non malignant The process is the same for other cancers. What this means is a fundamental shift, and we'll go worldwide internationally with this in the coming weeks, is that by injection of the GANS on a specific way and processing and production, which has been developed by the Keshe Foundation, the injection of CO2 or other GANS materials in a specific way, and as I said, a process which has been developed by us can be used in replacement for radiotherapy. Radiation therapy has been one of the biggest problems in the world of uh, cancer, with the side effects, burns and the others, with not much success rate. This can replace it. We will go through with this directly. And we see this as a process. This is not a treatment of eating. Doctors can call it a treatment. As far as the Keshe Foundation is considered, and we consider this process as a process. <coughs> what this means, we can inject directly the GANS material into the CO2, into the uh, condition of the tumor, and watch in matter of 24 hours, the tumor starts its reduction. 
according to the report, this process has no side effect. According to the report, what has been said to me, and we'll see on the final phase of it, in injection of this material, different type of, what we call ganses, into the blood, the report sees it as a replacement, a safe replacement for chemotherapy. This changes a lot. This changes the whole spectrum of the cancer process we had. We do not go out to destroy the chemotherapy, but we offer this process to the pharmaceuticals who are using chemotherapy to replace the chemo with all the side effect with a new injection. We work openly with the scientists and doctors in two or three countries with a full supervision of the health authorities and the government for initial testing and final testing. We enter into human clinical trials years ago. Now, we did the whole thing backwards. We saw it works on human, we now come back to do the scientific confirmation. Scientific confirmation confirms what we've seen in human trials done by all of you across the world. You have used it for your own, your wives, your husbands, your children, your friends, your patients, and you've seen the results. Now, the process is more detailed. The scientists involved in this research are puzzled. We have discovered in the process in the past week, something very interesting. The interesting part which has been hidden from us, opens a lot in respect to immune system of the body of the man, how the immune system works, and why it works, the way it works. We introduced a number of new ganses into the process which we knew are effective in eradication of diseases. And we have seen an amazing result. For the first time in world of science, we can explain how certain elements within the structure of the immune system are there to replenish the production of new cells, new and safe cells, cells without the cancer. We have seen rapid growth of the cells in replacement of the cancer cells. What we have seen is the body using the environment of the GANS to use, in a way, in a very interesting way, the energy of the tumor for the betterment of the body of the man, which means they become the food for healing of the wound at the point of the damage. <coughs> the process is exciting. We have tested in the past seven days on the back of the new test, where now we see how we can speed up the replacements of tissues. If you have a tissue damage, if you have a, a muscle cartridge damage, if you have ligament damage, if you have a piece of flesh taken from the skin, or the body, or the muscle, with what we have seen in the past seven days, we have seen a process where we can speed up the recovery within hours. It's a very interesting development. Our objective <coughs> was to find the interaction between the immune system and production of the cells. How fast can we? We went in to use the material as a replacement but we found out, replacement was the replacement of the perfect tissues. So, with a new combination which we have developed, in one hand, the cell of the cancer, while it's getting diminished, the new cells rapidly start their growth. 
a test on the stomach cancer cells today and tomorrow will confirm this in full view of the report. We have seen total change in cancer cells within six hours with certain gases, but they need a specific dosage characteristics. <coughs> what this means is that we can bring a new process into the whole understanding of even infections. What we have seen in the past couple of weeks in the second trial, these are all the sideline trials, it's not as part of the planned. What we saw with the freedom we have, the mainstream of the test for the cancer is carried out, but we don't fringe test with it. And the beauty with this technology is that the result is immediate. You don't need to wait months and weeks, we see it within hours. These tests confirm and changes a lot in what we have assumed in the world of medicine in respect to infections, in respect to recovery. We have discovered the element which leads to the production of the rapid discovery, recovery of the any illness. We have found the process of immune system of the body of the man. This gives us a new insight. This is a major breakthrough in the world of science and health. We could understand, we could see this process for years. Now we have found the element which is the collaborator in this process, which is the key in the process of a recovery from any infection. This has been important for us, because we know through the <coughs> ganses, we can overcome viruses. This was important for us in level of molecular restructuring of the cell. This is important for us in what we said, in replacing a damaged heart cell damaging heart tissue, damaged the brain cell. This has opened a new horizon. In the coming weeks, next year, we are launching a second line of research in Tokyo, which is on this level. We open a new side of medicine in Ghana University, specifically targeted for immunization and in recovery from infection. This changes a lot, because this trial, this test, has opened a new door. We invite the governments to join us for a rapid deployment of the technology. The actual technology is safe, because now we have reports, scientific research data, according to the international standard, confirming it. The reports has been submitted to the authorities. GANS CO2 is safe. Other GANSes at different ratios are safe. They are non-toxic and affect immediately. <coughs> it's for us now to understand how this ratio works on different cells in different part of the body of the man. We saw this with the gentleman who tested for the lung cancer for his wife, taking water from the sea in Northern Europe. Now we can confirm to you, sir, you did the right thing. The use of CO2 is a major breakthrough in the health applications. We have scientific data, we have gathered, and on the back of what we have gathered, the spin-off company in Tokyo, with the shareholding of the Japanese authorities, the same as what we've done in Ghana, has been asked to be starting early next week. After the 8th of January, the company will set up the same kind of shareholding with the universities or the government authorities in Tokyo, will be starting. This brings huge amount of return for the Japanese research centers. They finance the understanding, we finance the rest. 
in getting scientists to accept it was the biggest problem and was it was at least give it a try and prove within hours to be correct has opened the pathway. <coughs> we see this as a third collaboration with another government. This is a major, major breakthrough for scientists who understand this. This brings another progress in the understanding of the health applications. According to the report, which we will release to authorities immediately after the new year, is that the cancer cells within 24 hours are not there and the health tissues are growing. The beauty with this test was that during the trial, <coughs> we asked our scientists in Tokyo to mix their blood with the, what we call, culture plates, to see if that the cancers kill or destroy the white and the red cells. The answer with CO2 is negative, which means the cancer cells will be depleted. The red and white blood cells exist and operate. At the same time, we introduce the, what we call the main factor of the immune system into the dish and we saw the rapid growth of the cells. Strange enough, cancer cells don't grow. The, once the cancer cells have diminished, the damaged cells start regrowing very rapidly, extremely. It's an amazing development. It's really literally watch cells being reproduced, like when you see the birth of a child, when the first time the egg and the sperm going to rapid division. It's an amazing, we have, it has been videoed. We are sharing the video and the pictures with the authorities that they can see it. The scientists understand this very rapidly. So, in a very simple way, Keshe Foundation Ghana, on the research development for cancer, is open for operation from second week, third week of January. We are looking for those who have tumors, because it's very important for us to show this very rapidly. We have doctors here who will carry on with the support of the injections. All the tests will be done within the structure of the government hospitals, under full supervision and licensing by the authorities, by the ethical committees. We have, we would like to try up to 50 tumors, you have a tumor cancer, contact the Cash Health. We would like to test. It is you who would like to volunteer, and the parameters have been set. The doctors who have been waiting for us to announce the opening, we are open for trials, human trials. We invite, especially Norwegian government authorities, to collaborate with us and send a doctor to supervise. It is important that through these channels we open, through the channels which they have opened for us. We invite, if you are a Norwegian, please get them to get in touch with me. We'll organize, we pay for their trip to be here and monitor the whole trial. This is important because we are part of the government structure. It will be done in governmental hospitals. We are looking for those who have cancer, that the injections, as an injection, not into the tumor, but into the blood vessels, with the permit we have, can be carried out. On this, we can support up to 100 cases initially in January. As we said, the trial process will cost around about 5,000. The old expenses are on you, and on your organizations, or you know, whatever you do. You have to understand, these are trial processes, we are working on the data which we have, and from what we have seen, the tests are open. These are not treatment, these are processes, and within the guideline of the permit which will be given to us. All tests, all trials, 
will be done with the full supervision of doctors and ethical committees and governmental supervisors. You do not need to pay tens of hundreds of thousands for a chemotherapy that guarantees or can reduce cancer or a tumor. We've seen from our trial massive improvement changes with no side effect. As one race, if you are interested, contact the Keshe Foundation Health. The path will be set up for you within the next few days to be able and you have to understand, you need to have yellow fever injection and that needs 10 days prior to flight. This is why we said second, third term, third week of this coming year, in January. By the time you get the injections and we manage to do all our work here, we'll be ready to greet you. We are, and we invite doctors from other organizations to supervise the whole process. Our plan is to invite an international committee of doctors to supervise this process, in conjunction with the doctors and scientists of Ghana. Because then, it gives you the international level which is needed to take you to the steps of the application, internationally. Our goal is to achieve a mixture of ganses that brings it down to within the first three to five minutes saturation. It is the magnetic gravitational saturation and not in a way of destruction. The cell just collapses in giving its energy to another entity. I thank all of those who in the background have been working to achieve this. We've seen the medical team working, trying to do all the work to see its development and dispersing of the knowledge. I thank the scientists at Tokyo University, I thank the scientists here in Ghana Atomic, who work with us and facilitating everything possible. It has been an international collaboration of the Keshe Foundation supporters, now becomes international collaboration with other scientists. The data and case by case will be released internationally as the process goes on. Once three doctors sign the certificate that the cancer is eradicated, the report will be published automatically. As we said, we have requested and we've been told has been, will be accepted in the opening of the new year, a 20,000 square meter the space hospital facilities in Ghana. We make Ghana the center of space technology as we said for Africa, and this is the beginning of it. We have come to an agreement that the space hospital, the launch pad and the factory sit within the same structure, which allows us and have the facilities of the test site with scientific backup, with the development of the new space systems all together in one place. Ghana has become the space valley in Africa. Everything is within the military zones of Ghana Atomic Commission. Some of you have not seen the logo of the Keshe Foundation, Ghana Atomic. It's a joint equal, it's exactly what you see. Stanley, are you in the background? You can share the insignia of the Keshe Foundation Ghana Atomic. You have it to share with us? Just a moment, uh, we will prepare the Do you have it with you? Yes, uh, I have it here. Just a moment. You will see it's the same as what you see on the screen. 
It's a joint collaboration, shareholding between the Keshe Foundation and Ghanaian government and the Ghana Atomic Commission. You will see this insignia on all the buildings which the Keshe Foundation has its operation in Ghana. We and both the governments are proud to be and part of the collaboration and bringing new scientists in the world of the space in every aspect. The problem now is how we carry on with the same collaboration in Europe, in Asia, in the United States and South America. This isn't the um, the one you're looking for, but I just no. put this up temporarily. This is the Cash Foundation Ghana. This is the insignia of Cash Foundation, the Spaceship Institute. The Cash Foundation Ghana and Ghana Atomic have received approval, which is what we call government, the official governmental approval of the insignia of the two organization collaboration. Um, Stanley has it in the background, I think. Do you want to share? Stanley, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. I just have a problem with the picture viewer. Uh, one minute and it will be up. Okay. So, as you see, it's a joint collaboration and it's a partnership in shareholding. And in that process, everything which we do in Ghana comes under the supervision of the uh, ministry. We are supervised and controlled by the ministries and everything we do gets authorized through different channels, ethical committees, energy ministry, space and science ministries um, and every other aspects which we cover. We have the opportunity and we have changed the opportunity into a leap of what we call development. The factory's products will be out on the streets of Ghana in next, immediately after opening of the center after the Christmas holidays and the New Year holidays. We look for the same kind of collaboration with other governments around the world. This will change, this brings a lot. As you see, this is the insignia accepted by the government and the Keshe Foundation. KFSSI, in balance collaboration with Ghana Atomic Energy Commission and the supervision of the Ministry of Energy. You will see this insignia more or less all over the Keshe Foundation buildings within the Atomic Ghana and across Ghana in the next 12 months. It is important that we achieve governmental collaboration at this level, because they are the beneficiaries of this technology. They are, in a way, because my reduction in the hospital cost reduction, in the healthcare reduction, in uh, fuel bills, reduction in uh, what we call contamination, this allows saving for the government to be spent on public, and they appreciate and they understand it. Now we go to, thank you very much, uh, Stanley. Now we're going to the next step of the development. The next step of development which we have, and which we are looking for, is the decontamination decontamination, water decontamination, and air pollution decontamination. Next week, again from Ghana Atomic, Ghana Cash Foundation, we release new systems, which will be released on the Internet. We have developed a technology for cleaning up of bacteria, viruses, germs, and other things within the water, contaminated water. We have come to the same kind of process agreements through Italian and Italian government organizations for the contamination of the huge amount of water in Italy. 
the first beginning trials will be done after Epiphany, which is next Friday, and they will start the whole testing and the first phase of implication of the Keshe Foundation systems in Italy will start in early January. There is a huge amount of water contamination across Northern Europe for different reasons, and in the test which is done by the government and showing the development, the whole package has been set, they are doing the final phase completion and we will release the system. Systems are fully developed and they have seen the changes, is so uh, what they call fundamental that is not in one or two percent changes. We've seen up to 95 percent purification. And this is important. This is important for us. And it's important for us to be able to do it in a correct way. Could you please send me this link, Rick, which you are showing on my private email. It's a very nice presentation, I haven't seen it before. The process of water decontamination is um, very important in a way that uh, most of the waters in Northern Europe are contaminated beyond. But the authorities cannot do anything with it. They cannot stop the process. It has entered into the water system. There are a list of materials, about 10 of them, which are literally cancerous. We've been asked to, en to enter the trial, we did about three months ago. Two sets of trial has been done by the independent government organization laboratories confirming the uh, depletion of the, what we call contaminants, from 45.6% to 91%. And we are submitting a second cycle of the process, which will bring everything to 90 plus on all levels. This is industrial pollution of a large scale and the companies who have and been asked to use the technology are the companies which are paying heavy penalties to the government for contaminating. It's not the process that we will try, we, they have tested it. I attended the first trial before I leave Italy, before I come to Ghana and the results are confirming one after another. So, as I said last week, it's come part of the structure of the, uh, uh, what it will be within the water cleanup of uh, most of the Italian and Northern Europe waters which are contaminated. There is huge amount of radiation in part of the world, in the waters, which again we are collaborating to show that it can be cleaned up. Going back into the teaching of last week, if you remember, I said to you something very interesting. For those who have a different idea about Africa, in driving around Accra, we took some random pictures to show you how safe and how beautiful this country is. Shopping malls, in so many ways, are better than the European shopping malls. Much more advanced and brand new. So, what I told you is about the trust of the man in a nation. And we took some pictures. Um, Rick, would you like to share those pictures with us? Uh, yes, just a second, Mr. Cash. You see this across Accra, you see this across most of African nations. This is what is lost in Northern Europe and America and Western world. In developing world, the trust of the man in another man is disappeared very deep, not in Africa. And it's a pleasure. We just took random pictures. These are things people do and live. This is the true picture of life, everyday life. You see this, this is a powerful generator on the streets of Accra, just outside the building. They don't need to put it inside. Would you like to show us the second one? This is 
another generator on the street. You see, we're taking it from a car. People trust, leave these, they don't have the space inside the parameters of the building. They put it on the street. Nobody will touch it. There is no padlock, there is no chain around it. Anybody can go inside and do anything. But they trust the nation. This is the beauty of Africa, which is missed. Go to the second picture, I think you will see something very interesting. This is a gas oven, on the street. The man builds it. In Europe, it won't be there in one second. As they say in Liverpool, leave it behind the window, I take it tonight. This is there every night, and it's not taken, they don't even move it. The guy wants it, calls the number, the owner comes, and he sells it. Can we look at the other picture, please? This, you see, the same we told you. The man, this is on the pavements, it's on the sidewalk. The man in the back builds it, leaves it there, it's there day and night. Nobody sits on it, nobody steals it. And it's the life of the man in the back. There is no doors, there is no alarms, there is no cameras, there is no security guard, but he can drive. 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers down the road, and you see the most exclusive furniture showrooms you've never seen in Europe. With all the cameras, and it's owned by foreigners. It's a beautiful contrast in Africa. Wherever the expats are, there are all the cameras and everything. Where you work with the natives, the camera is in the heart of the man, in the soul of the man. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. You have to be there to realize. Supermarkets, furniture, palaces, all with the cameras and everything, nobody touches. You see this, hundreds, thousands of places, right in Accra and the rest of Africa. There I told you, tires with the wheels, you pay fortune, it stays the same, day and night. Nobody takes anything. Nobody touches anything. This is the trust, this is where we said, the soul of the man trusts the nation. I told you, you see the flowers, you see the florists with all the vases, he makes them and leaves them on the street. Nobody touches. No offenses, no cameras, nothing, no security guard. I trust in my nation. And this is the beauty of Africa. This is what they don't show you, because then it shows the wildness of the West, of the Western world. You see this across, right across the whole of, most of Africa. I saw this the first time in Gambia, 20 years ago. And I thought, where have we been taken, what have been lied to? So, as I promised, I shared pictures with you, and now you see it. When you come for your processing, for your cancer, you take more pictures and share. The process is, that the soul of the man is clean, so it's his heart. The skin of the man is black, but the heart is white. The skin of the man is white, but the heart is black. That's a clean explanation of it, that's the only way I can explain. Going back into our teaching of what we carried on last week, we explained the creation of the man on this planet. We explained the creation of life on this planet. Is it accidental? Or has it happened through a process? What is the next step? 
once the life is created, in the active physical way. We saw the energy of a star in conversion within the eggshell of a solar system. At a given point has given life to a structure, what we call a planet. Has given the structure within it to life as we call it. Let's say human life. Animal life, a tree life. It has been a conversion of energy of a plasma from one state to another. In the process, everything which has created it has its own central position operation. Once life has changed, into the process of replication and to remember how to replicate the process, the life has built itself a hidden memory bank. In the process of the life of a what I call horizontal people, the animals and human race, in a way. We have created a memory bank, we call it the brain. What is interesting for us, and what is supposed to understand, as we've seen with what we call the vertical people, what is there, memory bank. Where is the heart of a plant? Where is the soul of a plant? Where is the central brain operation? In the body of man, we have chosen our head, we placed our brain, central control. We have kept the operation of the control through interaction of non-physical entity, what we call emotion. The question is, where is of a tree? This central nervous system, is brain, <coughs> is soul. With a man, we can say, Wood in a brain. What about the plant? What about other entities? Does the aura of the man <coughs> is the extra of the totality? than the physical body of the man. Does this apply to the plant soul? The question is, it comes back to essence of the creation. We brought matters together, that's the egg and the sperm. With it, in accumulation of numbers and increase in absorbing energy from the environment to increase the multiplication. We reached the point where the central mass has triggered and triggers a new dimension of energy, which we call emotion. Where, in the process of development, the interaction of the physical condition, which is created by multiplication of the numbers, in physical dimension, and interaction in respect to each other, what we call emotion, 
has created a central point for interaction, as we said, between the emotion and physicality. And what we call the soul of the man. But the question and the mystery has been, what is the soul? What is the operation of the soul within the body of the man? Why do the soul exist? What happened if we take the soul of the man from the physicality of the man? Would the body exist? And the answer is no. The body of the man is the same as the plant, the same as the earth, the harsh, the rugged surface, with some liquid for entrapment of the energy and conversion of energy to creation of life on it, which is what we call the oceans and the seas. But the real existence of the planet is not the Earth and its physical dimension, is the fields which emanates from it and interacts with other planets, moons and the stars within the galaxy and within the universe. The fundamental point is this little dust of the Earth through the gravitational magnetic field which creates within the center what we call a soul with its heartbeat, with its physical structure which has not been pulled to have legs and arms and stays spherical. Tentacle of its field forces reaches every star and every planet and every galaxy across this universe. This is the beauty of the interaction of the field. There is no single star, there is no single planet, there is no single cosmic dust, which has no connection with this planet. This is the truth and this is how it stands. When we speak about gravitational magnetic field positioning of the Earth in respect to the Sun, if it was only Sun, the Earth would have been going around the full fixed diameter, radius, whatever you call it, around the Sun. But we know this is not the way, because Jupiter, Saturn, the Moon of Saturn, Venus, meteorites, the other galaxies feel forces within the galaxy of the universe, all dictate the position of this planet in one way or another, in a bigger or a smaller dimension. So, the physicality of the body of the Earth, due to its center, what we call the creator of gravitational magnetic field of his soul, has connection with every other entity in the universe. Put a magnet in the middle of a paper and add as much iron dust as you like. You will see, it will affect and it will touch every single one of them. Even the ones which are slightly loose or they are totally loose, if you move them, you see others in the parameter of the interaction with it will move, which means it still interacts. So is the soul of the man. 
on the birth of the man, when the soul of the man is created. The soul of the man reaches the soul of the total entity of what is, what in his information of his plasma and in connection with the rest of the universe. If this understood, you will understand how to make approach, how to make contact with other entities which are at the strength of the soul of the man. As I said many times, many, many times, you go to a football match with 100,000 people in the stadium. You don't connect with none. You walk out and you see a man across the road or a woman across the road, never spoken and you fall in love. Because it's the field balance. You are there as a lover of the football, but you are there as a strength of the field of the soul. In the structure of the life of the man, there is a hidden wisdom. Maybe for the first time, I explain. And the hidden wisdom within the strength of the soul of the man, is the connection between the atmospheric condition, which we call the creation of amino acid, and its matter state, which is the physicality of its entity. Many of you have wondered, why the blood flows? Stand still for a second and understand. In the matter state of the physicality of this planet, iron is the magnetical part. And in many of my teachings in the past, I have explained, in the gaseous part, the gravitational magnetic field, which is, behaves like a magnet in the gas condition, is the oxygen. Now, you see the marriage of the two. Oxygen, amino acid, with iron, of the planet. Homoglobin, both in magnetic field condition and combination of the two, the what you call the levitation of the liquid. One attached to physicality of the physicality of the matter state, the other attached to the gases and the water. Now you understand why blood flows within the body of the man. This is the secret of the creation. This is why, when the two interact, and the soul which is created, now is connected to every entity on this planet. In the same way, is connected through its creation and the link of interaction to the other entities in this solar system and beyond. Now maybe for the first time you understand why you have blood as liquid, behavior of liquid can't flow in the body of the man. Two magnetical condition in interaction, creation of infinity, which creates levitation, not connected to one or the other. Unless you bring it out in the condition of the one, then the other gives up, or replaces its energy with the other fields, and solidification, as you see, why it blood dries on the skin of the man. Once it's out of the vacuum condition of the body of the man. If you understood this, you will understand clearly, how the soul of the man has been created. 
the soul of the man is created of the total entity of the elements of the structure of the matters within the solar system. which have found balance within this physical structure of this planet. It has telephone number, dialing code, and it always calls Earth. You can go anywhere in the universe, and if you understood this, you know how to go back home. This is part of the teaching of the Deep Space Technology. This is your what I call, call back home card. But if you understood this, you understand further how the soul of the man operates. Every blood cell, every cell in the body of the man, has this connection. and operates through its collection, collectively, through the emotion. The emotion is the part between the soul and the physicality. Emotion is what you call transition energy. Emotion is what is called dark energy, because man never understood from the source to manifestation as a transition. So, now that you understood the structure of the physicality and its dimension of the motion, it should be very easy to understand that emotion itself has led to creation of physicality. So, you can measure any emotion from the soul of the man to the physical. But the interesting part comes, when you enter the soul of the man. What is the soul of the man? Where is, and how does it operate? Go back, to, back to a few minutes ago, teaching. The Sun, the Earth, the position gravitational magnetic field of the Earth, where the tentacles of the fields reaches every part of the universe. Now, take the soul of the man. It's the same as the center of the Earth. It interacts with every other soul where the physicality of the man has finished. The physical body of the Earth does not reach every galaxy and star, or every planet on this solar system. But the fields of it does, knows if they are moving forward, or they change their position, that they adjust itself. So is the soul of the man in respect to the level and other souls within the universe and within the structure of this planet. The soul of the man interacts more freely with the soul of the entities of this planet, because it's near and is made of the same, or partially the same. So, now you understand, the soul of the man can reach other souls, because not only can reach, is made, its position is dictated, its power is given to it, in respect by the others. If you change <coughs> the position of the soul, if you increase the level of the energy of the soul, you will create a different field strength interaction and position. For those of you who understands the world of the medicine, the way I just even explained earlier on, now you understand, by elevating the soul of the man, you increase the field from the body of the man, and within it, you change the character of the man. Because now, it's different evolution, 
now it's different dimension. Now there is different position and different strength absorption I'm giving to the others and receiving from the others. Spaceship technology has to be the totality and not a finger bone. Spaceship technology is to understand the essence of the creation of the soul of the man, not the physicality of the man. This is the secret. And those who understand this will travel the spans of the universe without ever moving their own physical body. And this is what has been hidden from the man and his knowledge. The spaceship of the man is the soul of the man. Those who get into spaceships are those who have not developed the next step. And it's an interim. How long this interim will take, it depends on the maturity of the soul of the man. Can you elevate your souls? The answer is yes, but you have to understand what you add to it and where you add to it. Because when you have the structure of the soul of the man, it's the same as the soul of the planet with its heartbeat. The heartbeat is the exchange between the energy of the soul and the boundary of the physicality. They do when they match, they have to exchange. Earth has a heartbeat, so does the man. The sun has a heartbeat, because he has a physical boundary and it's got the center of the energy of the soul. And in exchange and balance of one to another, it needs the transition. And it's like a sound barrier. One is weak and one is strong, one is trying to go through and he hits the barrier of the physicality which is slow. It's the waves of the tsunami when the energy with the water comes and hits the solid shore and he has to increase to win. There is no difference. Now you have to find the heartbeat of the soul of the man in respect to the others and then you find the position of the others. Blessed those who are wise and understanding. Do you ever need a motion of physicality to reach another point in the universe? Or is the physical transformation and the transition, which is the confirmation of the existence that you try to desire to achieve. The soul of the man, within the center of his brain, is made, controls, communicates, develops structures, the physical body of the man and his interaction with the others. Those of you who thought of the shape of my hair, the position of my heart or whatever is done because of me, you have to understand at the point of inception, everything which is within the field of the creation of the planet had a say in the structure. What your job is going to be while you are here. How you are going to look while you are here. You need the timid behavior for the one who is a giver to give and for the one who is a taker to take you need a strong man that from his strength he gives and by it elevates the others.
and it's the souls who have decided, not the man himself who is in the soul. But, in the process of creation, if you understand that, in the process of time of life, you can change the strength of the soul. To elevate the soul to the levels of the strength of the other entities within the universe, and, as I said, bird with birds, boats with boats. Because you have increased the level of the soul in the true level, not by stealing and absorbing from the others, but increasing by the availability of the fields which are available within the soup of the universe, then you should be able to see, you should be able to communicate with the others' souls of that strength, plus your own. It's like by languaging. You will see the two. This has not been open to the man. Because man never realized, he can use his physicality in the right way, to change and elevate the strength of his own soul. Don't forget the heartbeat. Don't forget the heart. Heart, which comes from the interaction of the field of the soul, which is going, and the reflection of the strength of the matter state in respect to its environment. Sound barrier. What we call the noise of the sound barrier. If you've been when the aircrafts pass the sound barrier, and they make that noise. Now, you understand how the heartbeat is created. It's the same noise. You have to understand the soul, and the strength of the soul. If you understand, and you want to measure, if you have elevated your soul, or you have not, or you are managing to reach a higher level. Listen to your heartbeat. The change of heartbeat gives a lot of indication. The number of heartbeat gives a lot of indication in the structure of how much the soul of the man in transition becomes the matter of the man. Then you understand, why you carry blood. And then you understand, why your blood carries your emotion. Then you understand, why your emotion dictates your physical manifestation. Then you understand why many times I have said I'm ashamed to be in the body of man. It's not the soul, but it's the physicality of the manifestation of the physical body which has bothered and changes. And this is what you have to understand. The soul is exactly like a plasma. It carries the energy of the hydrogen, the copper, the zinc, the plutonium, and the others which are stronger in the center, which we have not managed to understand. It's not that it's all plutonium, and it's not that it's all hydrogen. How much you take from its magnetical, that you add to its gravitational, that increases the mass within the center, elevates the soul of the man.
every position in the soul has a control for the strength of the physicality. If you understand this, and you can operate within it, would the life would have a time limit. Or, the physical life of the manifestation on this planet, has a time limit. If you free your soul, you travel the span of the universe with the soul of the man from Earth. As it says, wherever I lay my head, is my home. Where my head carries my soul, so it is home. If you understand this teaching of today, you'll reach the maturity of the universe. And also, this is just a talk. You have a long way to go. Long way to go to understand your own creation, the interaction of your physical manifestation in respect to the others, understanding that this physical manifestation itself it has limitation where the fields of your soul reaches the universe. Would you like to talk to Mars, or would you like to be in Planet Zeus? You see a beautiful soul on the screen. Try to understand the structure of your soul. Then, the doors of the universe are open. the limitation of the man to open and reach the spans of the universe, is the limitation of his physicality and his heartbeat. Many times, many times I have explained this. Within your soul, you have a structure, which is feel connected through your emotion, to your physicality. And this is a very, very small part of the soul. The rest is what the soul does to put you in the position of what you need, what it needs to be. Death is not the end. Death is the beginning of the freedom of the soul, where it needs to find new dimension. But, in that dimension, it has to find its physical interaction. It's the division of a neutron into new protons and electrons, if one understands is the maturity of the time. Maturity of the time comes with the understanding of the totality. Try to bring all the knowledge we have thought over past years. And then you will understand, the totality has come to a final point. If you understand the operation of your own soul, you will understand how to interact with the soul of the craft, if you are still physically intent of it. You don't need the remote control, and you don't need the control. The physical control is too slow, far too slow. Try to understand, that, 
the soul of the man in a small part of his operation is the image of his physicality. But it has other dimensions beyond it, which is much different and much stronger or weaker, which has the interaction of physicality with the other levels of the souls and the freedom of the travel in the space. Then you understand why we still make, we still fly, we still make the spaceship, we still try to give the guns and the coils. Because, as I said, a man will take from this technology according to his intelligence and no more. A child is happy with a toy car. And a man is not content with the Rolls Royce. Another man sees life in a jet plane, and another one sees in a bullet and a gun and a missile. The position is, do we need to tend our life? Do we need to taint our life with the matter of matter side, or do we need to open it to be open to accept the totality of the energy of the universe? Try to understand the operation of your own soul. A few days ago, I was talking to a guy, he said, you know, Sikesh, I don't have no bad feelings to no one, and I have my love for everyone. I live a simple life in Africa, but I'm happy and at peace. No one can touch me, because I'm at peace with myself. This has taken millions of years to bring the wisdom to the man in Africa. This is to understand the strength of your own soul. This is to be truthful to your own understanding of your own strength. But, do I need to elevate it? To me, in Africa, we can reach space technology in a true sense much easier than the rest of the world. Because the heart of the man is still pure and untinted. At least most of them. It will be very hard to find a soul in Europe or America or other countries. The purity comes out of the richness of the continent. If I'm hungry, I don't need to steal. I can still walk, even within the capital, within the heavy cities, to a tree and get a banana, get a plantain, get a coconut, to satisfy my hunger and thirst. In the Western world, where do I rob next? Because there are no trees, the trees have papers on them, and they're fixed to a wall. We see a calamity awaiting man in the coming time. Then we see the true soul of the man. But, would this mature the man? I was explaining this, past couple of days to my son. I said, you don't remember. In mid-80s, we had a Cold War. 
between the east and the west communism and what i call capitalism i was explaining to him that Communism had a strength of its own and very correct within its structure. It lived a life within the parameters which was accepted to itself. But the capitalism was covered with lies, deception. The change, what we call the end of the Cold War, which was what it meant, was no bullet fired, but we still don't like each other, did not come down by the Berlin Wall. It came down four years before, by Chernobyl. It took a disaster to unravel to open the door. It took a nuclear disaster, where, if you were at that time, in the West, in Europe, you could see high level of radiation, but we didn't know where it comes from, and the Russians were sitting on the blown of full nuclear reactor, they didn't want to talk. But they couldn't hide it, because the disaster was too big. That was a time when they asked help from the capitalists to help us, maybe you have a technology. Nobody had the technology, the only technology we had was the hand of those pilots who did the Kamikaze and flew as many times as they could to cascade the nuclear reactor with concrete. But that accident gave the seed for an inside out of a disaster that years later, three, four years later, allowed the opening and the breaking down of the Berlin Wall. What they called the end of Cold War. And now we see a bigger Cold War. But this situation is going to change on the same way. This time, it's the other way around. The disaster in the West will put the hand out to the rest of the world to save them. This time there are no Western Kamikazes, because they're all Kamikaze themselves. This time, in the coming time, will be when the West you its own destruction by accident. It will be an accident, it will not be deliberate. The same as Chernobyl. Last time took three years to bring the communism down in the West, in respect to the East, because the West was more communist than the East, but nobody could see it. The appearance of the freedom is not the freedom. We see the same in a very short time, where nuclear reactors and other accidents will show the true nothingness within the structure of the West, which then will call for the East to put the hand of help out. And this time, help should have a condition. And that's what we said. Help energy in exchange for peace. This is what we see and this is what will happen. Now it goes back to the teaching what we had this morning. It's the soul of the man who has to be ready for this change. As I said many times, in a very short time, the boats coming from Africa, with thousands of people on it, will be reversed with thousands of the whites trying to get to Africa to live and survive. As the child, when they did a survey, they said to the children, do you know where the chicken comes from? 
He said, yes, supermarket. They live in the supermarket, because that's where you buy them. That's the extent of the knowledge of the man in the West. We got to raise the level of the soul of both sides, that when the time comes, the door is open on both sides. And does not become conditioned on the passport, on the visa, and we put you in the refugee camp. The refugee camp of the man at this point of disaster should be the whole planet. We see calamities beyond imagination, but it's man-made and triggered by natural forces. The reason the teaching of today abroad the status of the soul, because we have completed our teaching. Many times, many people ask, can you explain about the soul? I have told you everything you need about the soul today, if you understood the truth. Remember, in all the teachings, we said, the strength of the gravitational magnetic field of the plasma, reduces to a point that it becomes the strength of the matter-state. There is no difference. The strength of the soul of the man reduces so much in strength, till it reaches the matter-state, which is the physicality manifestation of the man. You were interested in plasma, I was teaching about yourself. You were so materialistic, that you forgot you are part of the matter itself. It's not that the minute you understand, you don't need to feed yourself, you don't need to live. Living is part of the process of contributing to the humanity and the universal community. So, now you understand, I've been teaching about your own soul from the first teaching. When you were interested only in the matter state, you forgot you are part of it yourself. The center of the plasma is the soul of the man, and the circle still reaches the matter state, the strength, which becomes the emotion of the man, because it goes through emotion, how to find his motion to reach the matter state, that's what we call it, emotion. And then, is the manifestation. And don't forget in all the teaching, what I said, hydrogen sits on the edge, but within the hydrogen is the energy of the gold, and platinum, and it depends how much of the giving you give to reach the state of the gravitational magnetic field of the others. So now you understand, all my teaching has been about man itself and his soul. And if you understood all the teachings in past hundred and odd teachings, and past hundreds of teachings, you will come back to one point. I've been teaching about yourself to yourself. Remember the song? I can fly. If you understood this, with the strength of the soul of the man, you can fly in any dimension. It's you who decides the dimension. I've said many times, when I teach about the soul, it will be the final chapter. And now I have told you about the soul. 
in a way, I've thought about your soul from the beginning of the first teaching. If you read the first chapters of the book one, and you read the last chapters of the book three, I have shown you how two eggs come together, two magnetic fields create a plasma. And at the end, I have shown you the creation of the universe, which is the totality of the soul of the As messengers, we have a habit to write in riddles, because otherwise it becomes too simple, and it becomes meaningless. Any questions? Hello, Mr. Kears. Yes. Mr. John, from Arizona. Yes, yes John. Um, no, it, as you were talking, I got to thinking about um, the field plasma that we're creating. And I've heard in the past that a lot of the spacecraft that are operating are actual living entities. And that uh, they too have a soul. The spacecraft has a soul. Is, is you the mean field, the spaceship. The spaceship. Yeah. So is the field plasma that we're creating... Um, is there something that has to be added to that uh, um, that plasma, or does it have a soul? If you understood the totality, you understand it has its own soul. That's why you collect, connect and direct through the soul, through the emotion. In a way, you break into its emotion. If you look at the way, I looked at you the systems you built in past few weeks. What is missing to get your system triggered? You haven't found the soul of it. You haven't found that imaginary center. You haven't found where the field plasma works. I'm going to share a screen with you, and then you understand. In Arizona, you have built a platform and you have placed your reactors on it, on the ground. In the last talks we had, I explained to you in a nutshell, try to raise your reactors. Very soon, as part of the process, what you are doing, you learn something very interesting. If you place your reactor, top reactor, and the three base reactors in a way that the line of the interaction of your 18 reactor cores sits within the imaginary, or what we call the free plasma, you shall fly. And it's, a, and it's a living, it's a living being at that point, is that, or a living? Yes, entity? it has no physicality. This is what, in the last talk we had, I explained to you, raise you, because I can't tell you, put it there and there you see you fly. We've seen this in the Sansano with uh, Armin, with a four system, we hung it, and we seen it rotating, lifting up and down, but it didn't have the structure needed with the 18 reactors. The 18 reactors create the physicality boundary. The soul sits within the free plasma. If you look, the top reactor is the brain, and these are like the legs and the arms. No. 
once you achieve this point, you achieve the creation of the spaceship. But because it's a free plasma, it's a plasma created out of the totality, then the man's soul free and free. If he can tune it at the strength, you decide the whole system. You will learn the pilots of the future are the man of the truth in respect to the desire of the travel. Which means they can manifest the point of destination to you at any point without you ever arriving because they can create the condition of the connection. Zero time travel. Zero time travel is not actually traveling in the zero time. Is opening the time to yourself to see the truth. We call it the enlightenment. When you ha can create the strength of the destination, you are at the destination. The system you're setting up in Arizona, you're getting there. I've seen your 12,000 RPM new reactors this morning, it's fantastic. But, you have to understand the positioning. In a hidden way, go back into the pictures of the unit which Marco has set up and I put it out. You see it. There is a reactor set on the top core, and there is a reactor star formation underneath. And the plate with the balls sit in the middle. As I said, I hide too much, because the man is not with you. Set your system, you already achieved the envelope, you already achieved the donut, you have already have understood partially that you don't need the transformers if you can transfer feedback into your own base internally. Then you have created your own energy. Then you are the pilot. Any other question? Morning, Mr. Kesh. Morning, Dr. Uh, I have two questions. You are uh, back with your soul again? I know. Uh, a couple of them, maybe. Uh, the first question is, when we talk about the soul, emotion and physicality, we're talking about the principal matter, dark matter and antimatter. I don't want to speak about that. I speak about the principal matter, transition, and the matter. And then where is the heartbeat? Like this. What? Where is the heartbeat it stays? In your emotion? Pardon? The heartbeat. Does it belong to emotion? Is an interaction between the physicality and the soul of the man. Okay. And the strength of the emotion. And the second. Have you? Have you? Have you ever thought? for one second. Why does your heartbeat increases when you get in emotionally triggered? Maybe you find the answer this way. I understood. Uh, I have another question. Is you remember uh, Jesus bless his name uh, was in a garden talking to God and with his disciple before his crucifixion, uh, who was he talking to? Did such a conversation ever take place? So he never had any conversation with God? I don't know, I wasn't there. Ask your soul, it might have been there. When you speak to the soul, when you speak to the man, you bring, don't forget, 
goes back to the twelve disciples, because it covers every angle of the physical, what we call, dispensation of the field. It's the field which feeds back and creates a dimension and physicality. At the strength which it does. The problem is not who he was talking to. It was which soul he was trying to reach. You know, we have a repetition of the life of Christ and the life of Bob. That's his name. When they went to put him in a firing squad, he said, I have not finished yet. They put him up, they put him on the wall, 900 soldiers fighting on the wall. They couldn't find him, he was back in the room because he was sitting with the last messages. When he finished, he said, I'm ready. It looks like a magic, but in a way, the soul of the man was ordering the 900, and it's not tiny. The soul does not need to speak, but the man needs the physicality of the voice to confirm his own receipts of information. Sometimes you have to speak for the ear to hear, but the soul has already received the message. When you feel the pain of your child or your parents, thousands of kilometers away, did they speak or did you feel their emotion? Which passes through their soul beyond the physical boundary. And it's only you who has that strength who receives zero time travel. We've seen it many times, but we don't understand it. Maybe now we do. This is what I said, and I've shown to some people. The cry of the man for the disaster to come has been felt through the soul of the man, and those who are there to support and save are sitting at the outskirts of this galaxy in this solar system. Man shall will see very soon. It's the same as the child cries for the father, for the help. And the soul understands it, and the feel comes to the father, that the child needs help. So, the cry of the man has already gone out, and it's been heard. We are too much involved in physicality, that we don't see the reality. Any other question? Um, Mr. Keshe, there's somebody that's asked uh, the question last couple of weeks, and I haven't um, been able to get it through yet, but um, it's Oyvind, I think he's actually as part of the panelists here. He, wa he would like to talk about the production of hemoglobin, and specifically with, um, yes, can we go back in depth on how to proceed with silver nitrate in production of hemoglobin? Do we add silver nitrate as early in the nano coating and adding it to the salt water in CO2 hemoglobin production? In that case, how much of it is? Uh, you try and you tell us. <laughs> okay. You try it. You find out in some part of using nitrites, especially with amino acid, you'll reach 
color of black. Pitch black. Don't look at it, ask why. Then you find the path to the soul of the man. And now you understand why some are so black in the soul. The thing is, when you use these things, especially with hemoglobin, you have to see if it's alive. You have to see if it's still operating, not just because you added it to it. This is the problem. Just because you added it and you've seen, because I did, You got to see if it is needed and if it allows for a hemoglobin to exist or does it convert it. Any other question? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cash? Yes. Who's that? My, this is Zane Lott. I just want to tell you, um, Bob? yes. Where are you from? Um, I'm from America. Yeah. I, I just want to tell you that you've been the greatest influence in my life. And I, I really appreciate everything you've taught me to this point. Thank you so much. Just for being you. I love you so much, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Good morning, Mr. Cash. Yes. This is Andreas from Switzerland. Good morning, Andreas. Thank you very much for sharing all the knowledge and the love you're doing for this very long time. And I just want to explain uh, one uh, key element uh, that is for me uh, most important to understand uh, my desire to fly. As in my early childhood, I had uh, such a desire to what? To fly. Yeah. In my in my early childhood, I had a very vivid dream, uh, flying like Peter Pan, and this feeling from then uh, is still with me. And uh, this is why I'm I'm looking everywhere to to achieve to fly somehow. Um, so now my question of the understanding from your teaching uh, is related to the opposite of flying. Basically, I mean the fear of heights or to fall. For me to understand uh, where this emotion is coming from, when basically we have the gravitational and the magnet magnetical uh, field strengths, uh, there can basically be no fall except the focused um, experience of the gravitational field strengths. I explain something in the teaching of today, maybe <coughs> this covers different aspects of what you're talking about. Any man who understands the balance between the iron and the oxygen can levitate himself. Don't forget, when we increase or put a stronger magnet against a weaker magnet or a stronger plasma, weaker plasma, and we can change its strength, the position of the two changes. So, levitation or the flight in respect to a fixed position like Earth, once the man understands this, is very, very easy. Because you have the iron as an amino acid, 
and you have the oxygen in every single of the amino acid. One is a hemoglobin, uh, one is the oxygen. So, if the man understands this, anyone can fly or levitate in respect to the earth, depending on the strength you change from the metal, iron, in respect to the oxygen. In flying, or moving across the universal span, is again understanding of the gravitational magnetic field, the strength of the position in what and how it is, compared to what you are. This goes back to the medical teaching, and now maybe some people understand. I said, the red blood cells are taxi destinated, which means when the blood cell passes the lung, that cell only has energy for the tip of the toe cell, not for the brain, not for the heart cell. Because only in that position, the strength is the strength which is needed to deplete the energy of the cell, that it can be recuperated back to the top. Understand the interaction of the sweet water, when he enters the ocean of the salt. Understands the interaction of the mixture, of how much oxygen you can put, energy-wise. Do you take energy from the air, in respect to the ground, or do you take the energy from the ground in respect to the air, and you position yourself? Then, you have to understand, do you take energy at the level of the universal condition in that point of destination, to match? You'll find out, spaceships, majority of cases, are a point of gathering of the souls than the physicality, because they enjoy being with each other. It's very called, expats community. And the expat covers the whole of the universe, they're all expats, but they're ex-universes in the sub being part. When you decide to travel within a ship, or within a spaceship, is when you decide to be part of the other's interaction. That's the misunderstanding of the totality of a lot of people. Very much, you go to let's say, South America, but you have people, friends from Africa, and from Asia, and from Europe, because you like to be around. You're all expats. But, in a community, you like to be with. And you'll find out, the spaceships of the future, are that way. From every culture of the universe, that they would like to enjoy each other's existence and presence. By the will, not by force. This changes a lot. So, you can decide if you want to levitate and float on the Earth atmospheric, or you would like to join a spaceship above. Or you want to make yourself Don't forget, the spaceship made by the man, it's at the strength of his emotion, so it's a physical matter entity of this planet. Is the trust in one's souls, which lets the man to take off, and to travel. Any other question? Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Cash. There, there was a, a question from James in the Zoom chat. Um, he's, he says, could you discuss the concept of dimensionality and realms of existence? Are these just constructs of the mind? Or should that be seen in relation to the evolution of the soul, i.e. the higher the elevation, the more they are perceived, so to speak? It's mainly environmental condition dependent. It depends on what environment and what condition you like it to manifest. If we change the strength of the immune system of the body of the man, we can make man to be in direction and position of anything. It's your immune system which puts limitation on understanding of, because you have put a, what I call, a filter. Our restriction in expansion, in so many ways in our physical dimension, has been predetermined by our ancestors in the existence of our immune system. Anything above a threshold is seen as a problem. It has to be brought within the parameters that it cannot because the atmosphere of this planet has conditioned us. We have no choice. Why all the animals have a blood at 37 degrees, 36 and a half degrees? Is the conversion rate, which comes in respect to the gases and the matter state, and the transition of the speed of the what I call fields of the soul in the matter state boundary. Very interesting observation. Go back to the heartbeat. Why, when you see somebody you love, your heartbeat changes? It's only between you and your emotion and nobody outside knows. Is it the connection between the souls which transfers the energy at the speed that the physicality cannot handle? Then, we should be able, with the knowledge we have, to measure the strength of the love. Love has a strength the same as the fear, the same as joy. Now we understand, we can do it, so why don't we increase the level of the whole thing to the level of loving? And let the whole world love each other. It can be done. And the number of people around the Keshe Foundation who work, is enough to create, but the position of the fear is worse. Because we have allowed it. Any other question? Mr. Cash, Father again. Uh, yep. In a couple of occasions, I had the situation talking about the heartbeat that uh, I see as strangers that my heartbeat is started to increase. What's the reason for that? Ask your soul. Your soul recognizes before you do. Does it create a heart beat of fear to protect you from what they are intention because it's aware of the soul? Or is the heartbeat intention of love and care? Don't forget, you look at your heartbeat, the soul has already connected. Of intention. 
Thank you. Mr. Kesh, there's a question in the live stream chat from Krasmir. Says, uh, Mr. Kesh, what is the main motivation of the soul? Is there different motivation for action for different souls? For example, the soul of the spaceship might have a different motivation than a human soul. It's you who created the spaceship. Or somebody did. So he carries that emotion. The intention is by principle living a balanced life. Would, would the soul of the spaceship be a little bit like the soul of a, a new child that was born? Same as the soul of a planet. Because it's that the strength gives you a manifestation of your physicality. It's what I call home. I feel comfortable in. This is why I said, in some cases, you can't invite others into the spaceship if it's primarily made for yourself. But if you make it dimensional, you can allow many. As I said in other teachings, children of the universe, with a man's soul as part of it, will be a fantastic birth. Physically, we will not be able to reach, because of the strength of amino acid, we kill each other. But we can marry through the soul. And the children of the soul have no dimensions, unless they decide. Man will learn about this in a very short time. The way your heart changes when you see a beautiful woman or a man or a child or a dog and you fall in love with a woman because of the heartbeat. It will happen in space for a man. But unfortunately, physical interaction is impossibility. But, the marriage through the souls will lead to the life that is a balance between the two, and the child of the soul is so beautiful. But it still has to learn. A long, long way yet. If you look for the birth through interaction of the sperm and the egg, and you know that came from the physical manifestation of the soul, now imagine if the souls do it without the transition. It's so beautiful. You call it the virgin birth because there was no physicality. Any other question? Or shall we call it today? One other question that sort of goes along with that is um, a, a Chinese person, I, it's a Chinese name, I can't uh, pronounce it, but they say, Hello, Mr. Kesh, how does the soul affect the DNA and RNA? Thank you very much. It's the creator of both. One in the level of emotion and one in the level of physicality. In the Chinese culture, you have the yin and yang. Emotion is that line, fine line, between the yin and the yang. One is the soul and one is the physicality. The fine line is the emotion.
one always reaches the other and the return comes to itself. Depending on its strength. If you understood the teaching of the today, you have unraveled the mystery of the universe. Because the teaching of today had nothing to do with the physicality of the man. It's to do with the fields of the creation of the man, the essence of the creation. And it's the same across the universe. You need the energy to create the matter, that the interaction of the matter allows the free levels of the understanding of the freedom of the energy which what you call the soul. That in this interaction, once you've created it, feels this own matter state to confirm its existence. We call the physicality. If there are no questions, Understand what we taught today. You understand the whole mystery of creation. Otherwise, it's just a wind passing by. Thank, thank you very much for today. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful new year if you are the path believer of the Christ. Thank you, Mr. Keshe. Thank, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Keshe. Okay, that will bring to a close the 152nd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, December 29th, 2016. And next week our uh, presentation will be in 2017 and we'll see everyone there, hopefully. Thank you very much. Um, okay, let's win the live stream. Yeah. Leave the broadcast up a bit with your screen. There is no forget. Don't forget. This is a nine, and the other one is one. It's the beginning. Goodbye. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for that reminder, Mr. Kish. Okay, we'll end the live stream now. Leave the broadcast open a bit here, Rick. Let me know when you're good, Flint.